Welcome to your next tutorial on complete authentication system with Kick PHP. Remember in the past tutorial we saw how we made our ad user page our home page and then the next thing you will have to see is that you can actually run your own Kick server. Remember in the past tutorial we used our WAM server to view our Kick sites but you can actually run your own Kick server so if you are in your Kick folder already. You just need to cd into bin. Now we're in the bin directory, and the next thing we will do is to kick server. Once you hit enter, it starts your own kick PHP server, and then that server is accessible as you can see from this URL. Which means if we paste this URL like I've done, we can actually view our kick PHP website. That means if you don't have one server, you can still run your Kick PHP website. And the next thing we will do is to create a proper sign up page. Eventually, we'll take this to be the admin add user page. In the event that we have an admin that wants to add a new user without ha having to go through sign up, this could be a page where they add it. But eventually, we'll need a sign up page. So let us quickly create a sign up page so we'll start from the view so we we'll go into our folder and um, our kickoff folder we we'll go into our src then we navigate to templates so inside template we are going to go into users template remember the login and the sign up page will be in users template so uh, since this is the page that represents this ad page it looks closely to what we want. We want a sign up page. So we can just copy and paste it. So what I did on my keyboard is Ctrl C, Ctrl V after highlighting it. So I can now edit this and call mine a cake. We can call it um, sign up. Then we will do the same thing again for our login page. So I'll right click the same thing copy right click again and paste and we will rename it to our sign up page so this is sign in or login let's just call it login page so there we have a clone of two sites of two views that we can use for our login and sign up the next thing we will do is to go and create a controller action for it and then we will Route it properly. The proper thing is that when a user is coming to our website, they should hit the login page. All right, so we head over to our routes file, and in config, we have our routes file. And when we open this, it opens up. And um, one more time, where we have users action art, we can just say login. So they have to log hit our logins action the system appears to be hanging a little but once they hit our login action the next thing we will do is to we have told it to route to a certain action remember that this is not a view what it means is that we have to go to our users controller and create an action a method called login so we head back to our kickoff go to src go to controllers and we hit on users controller when it opens we have to create two methods the login and the sign up so this is a sample method for the index that lists all the users as you can see it's just listing all the users and this is the one that does the view and this is the method that handles the sign up remember we cloned the view for the the ad This view, we cloned it, and um, if we look into this place, we'll see that this is the action that handles it, and they bear the same name, add.ctp, and this. So we will clone this again for the sign up. So we can say sign up. Um, we're basically trying to avoid writing too much code. So we'll come back to it and update it to do proper sign up and um, hash user password and everything so but we have, to, we have to clone another one and call it a login all right i'll delete everything inside here i'll say uh, write login function 
function we'll come back here and add a, a method for uh, writing a login but let's just name it for now login all right and once cake PHP sees this login it automatically knows that the view we are expecting to see is the login.ctp view all right now we have this if we go to our browser and say slash users slash login and uh, it will take us to a clone of this page which you already have so we have a clone of this page already so of course there's an error because we deleted all the method it's expecting to see this this variable here and we deleted it here that's why it's throwing this error but we should fix it shortly but before then let's head over to our view file our view file is inside ctp templates and we have users and we hit on login we'll also open our sign up so we're opening two of them so that we can modify them so if we come here we will see in the login page that we just need user name and password and we can edit this to login and if we go back and refresh i've refreshed as you can see what you will observe is that we have email and password and then a submit button and that looks cool and this particular menu you are seeing by the right if you open your page you will see that this is the menu if i may add here that bootstrap uses foundation zorb foundation zorb foundation sorry cake php uses for zorb foundation for its front front end as against using bootstrap so if you are better with bootstrap what we'll do is to merge the two or we gradually remove zorb foundation and start using bootstrap for me i like to merge the two to reduce the the, the stress of changing them so i can manually change them as you can see this looks like bootstrap but not exactly bootstrap it's actually zorb so if you know zorb you can just start using it straight away for me i prefer to use bootstrap so we'll eventually navigate to bootstrap so at this point i believe that we've understood how to modify the view to reflect what we want you understand and then in the next tutorial we will see how we can insert bootstrap into this and actually make this form more beautiful using our bootstrap skills so thank you very much don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video